Hello everyone! Today I will be showing you how to get almost all of the Google Pixel's exclusive features on your Nexus 6. We will be doing this by flashing a zip file to the phone using TWRP. This modification will make your Nexus 6 look and work like a Google Pixel on almost every level. It will also give you the ability to use Daydream VR as well as Google Assistant if you don't have it already. In order to do this modification, you will need a Nexus 6 running stock Android 7.1.1 or the latest version of Lineage OS, the TWRP custom recovery installed on your device, and you will need to be rooted with SuperSU if you are on stock Android. Without further hesitation, let's jump right into the tutorial. So I have the XDA thread loaded up right here. As you can see, it's called Cool Pixel Mod for Stock OS. Android 7.1.1 slash Lineage OS, Android 7.1.2. So it gives you some pictures of what it will look like, what your device will look like once you install this mod. It also gives you a list of all the features that it gives your device. It lists the requirements here. And you've got two downloads. If you're installing this on stock Android, you will need the first download link here. Now, if you are installing the stock Android version, you will need to take notice of this number and letter combination right here. This is the build number. It should match the build number on your device. So make sure that under about phone, you have this same number for your build number on your device. Otherwise that could cause issues. Now moving down to the other download link, this is for people running Lineage OS 14.1, and what you need to pay attention to here is this number combination. This is the date. So as you can see, 2017, June 9th. This should be the version of Lineage OS that you are running. So if you were to go on About Phone under Lineage OS version, it should say 14.1 dash that same number right here. If it doesn't, you might need to update your Lineage OS ROM. Okay, so I'm going to be downloading the Lineage OS version. So you would just click download. It would take you to this page. You would want to click begin download. Wait for this. And just click the primary download and save it to your desktop, for example. Now I'm not going to do this because I already have it downloaded, I already have the proper version downloaded for my version of Lineage OS, so I do not need to download this version. And if I go to my desktop, as you can see, I have this zip folder right here. Also at this time, make sure to have your phone plugged in to your computer. So the process I will be showing you is identical to if you were doing this on stock Android. It doesn't make much of a difference at all. The only difference is what zip file you download. So I have this version right here, which is the proper version. Okay, so as you can see, I have my Nexus 6 right here on my computer. Now, if I open this, I get nothing. So what you wanna do is go over to your phone, look for the notification that says Android system, tap the notification, and make sure that it's set to transfer files. Once you've set it to transfer files, make sure your phone is on and unlocked. Refresh. And then you should see this, internal shared storage. Go in here, scroll down preferably to your download folder, and then just drag this folder in to your downloads here. Just drag it into the blank white space over here. Again, I already did that, so I'm not going to do it again. And now you're done with the computer end of it. The file is on your phone, and now I'm going to switch over to my device. I would like to point out some things for anyone wanting to install the mod on stock. I am running Lineage OS 14.1 on my Nexus 6 here, which already gives me access to several aspects of the Google Pixel such as the Pixel Launcher and rounded app icons. These are things that you will most likely not already have if you are on stock Android. However, this mod will still give you the Pixel Launcher and rounded icons on your device, even if you do not notice a change on mine. 
now that we got that out of the way, what we want to do now is reboot the device into recovery mode. If you do not already know how to do this, I'm going to show you right now. So, you want to power off your phone, and we'll wait for that. Once it's fully powered off, show you, we will want to press and hold every button on the phone here, the power button, volume up button, and the volume down button. So I'm going to do that right now and show you as best as I can. Okay, okay. That's where, that's where it should be. Alright, so you should get something looking like this when you do it. Not much, mainly a black screen. It should say start off to the right. Now, you want to use the volume buttons to scroll up and down. As you can see, pressing the volume buttons, up and down. You can scroll up and down this little list here and do it until you see recovery mode. And then, simply press the power button right here. Okay, then you should get your boot logo and it should immediately boot into your custom recovery if you have one installed. And that is a requirement for this modification. Once TWARP loads up, we need to go to install and it should show up immediately here. If it doesn't, then it might look something a bit like this. And if you get something like this, just go to SD card down here, let me zoom in. Just go to SD card and then scroll down into preferably the downloads folder or whatever other folder you may have saved it into. So right here we got download, that's where I have mine. And open that. Boom, we got that. All right, so now we want to tap on Cool Pixel Mod V28 Lineage 14.1, the file that you dragged onto your phone on the computer. Tap on that once, and the screen changes. You should get something like this, and you will want to swipe to confirm flash down here. Now it'll run through its little thing, loading it onto the device, and you'll get something that looks like this. Small text up at the top, Pixel Mod Features. This will give you a rundown of all the features that it has, and you'll want to hit Next there. Okay. So to go through and ask you at the top here, if you want pixel rounded icons, blue accent color, or a tinted nav bar, and you choose what you want. If you want the stock settings, if you want the rounded icons and the blue accent color, or if you want the rounded icons, blue accent color, and a, uh, and if you want your navigation bar to change colors with the apps that you load. If you like that, then go right ahead and pick it, but I'm going to pick the middle option right there. Then Next, again. Now it says pixel nav bar, home button animation, four column quick settings, and net speed. So you don't have to really worry about the four column quick settings and net speed. Um, most likely you're going to only want the pixel nav bar and the home button animation. So I usually go with pixel nav bar and home button animation, the second option right there. I'm going to hit next again. Then it'll ask you if you want the pixel boot logo and the boot animation. I keep that on yes, and I hit next. Then it'll ask you if you want the pixel launcher, and you can choose actually between the pixel launcher on Android N or the new pixel launcher that is coming out for Android O. I recommend to keep it on pixel launcher O as it is a newer look and feel, but if you like the N or Android Nougat launcher better, then pick the first one. Okay, hit next again.
pixel live data and wallpapers. So these are pixel wallpapers that are exclusive to the pixel, but you can get them on your Nexus 6. So I keep I keep that for yes. And pixel audio is what that says up at the top there. I'd also keep that yes. Uh, I keep this yes to delete stock audio. I don't think you want that. Pixel setting and download icon, I keep that as yes, just other themes. Now it gives you a little blurb about Google Assistant, um, a little blurb of information here saying that you need to have OK Google already trained before flashing this, but we shouldn't, have, we shouldn't have to worry about this. You should not be wanting to flash this for just for Google Assistant, as you can most likely get it for your device officially. So I just click next on this, and when it says Google Assistant and Wi-Fi display, just leave that off. That's not really necessary. You can get Google Assistant anyways, and Wi-Fi display isn't anything too major. And it doesn't really it doesn't relate to the Pixel in particular. Okay, so Daydream VR. Um, there's no upside or downside to having this. Really, there's no downside to having it. So I just check yes. Because even if you don't use it, it won't bother you. This is if you want to use the Daydream VR app, which is Google's new VR app in place of cardboard almost for special phones. The Pixel is one of those phones that can use Daydream. Nexus 6 cannot, but with this, it will give it the functionality. Next again. Okay, so this could be important for anyone having any problems with Daydream VR. So it says if you're having problems, go to the Daydream app tap on the build version a few times and act to activate developer mode then go into the developer mode screen and enable skip VR entry screens but there's only necessary if you don't have a daydream headset or a controller I've never had any issues so I recommend not messing with that um, just keep it in the back of your mind that you might need to go tweak around with some settings in daydream but it's not a big deal click next again Stereo audio recording. Now this isn't a, I don't think this is a pixel feature, but it's just kind of an extra thing that's in this uh, modification here. So I just keep that as yes. Digital analog converter, up there at the top. I just keep this as yes too. It doesn't really have any effect. Ready to install. Click next to install. So I'm gonna click next down here. As you can see, it is doing its installing there. So and it, it takes, not too long actually, so it should be done in just another second here. Alright, so they'll say everything is installed at the bottom. Reboot and enjoy. Now click next. And there's a little uh, thing up here. Congratulations. Not congratulations, congratulations. Cool Pixel Mod has been installed successfully. Enjoy. And click finish. Okay, so it's finishing it up. Swipe to unlock here. Then you have, it should say done. And you have two options. Um, you do not need to wipe the catch or Dalvik. Just just uh, reboot your system here. My lighting is a little bad, so I hope you can see it, but go with the right option. And then it's gonna ask, uh, it's gonna almost bring up an advertisement for you to install the T-Warp app. I already made a video on that, actually, if you wanna check that out. But uh, I recommend right now just clicking do not install this button right here. I don't think I don't think we should install it now. I, I think if you were to install it, just go through the Play Store. All right, so it'll do this. It'll load up, and it should. Yep, it loads up exactly like the Pixel now. It has that nice Pixel animation, boot up animation. Now I'll set it back down here while it does this. This will take a while, so I'm going to go ahead and skip through this and show you some of the features when it comes back on. All right, so it did not take as long as I expected here. It is back up now. Uh, I'm going to put in my password. All right, so it is now up. 
button. Here we go. As you can see, some more of the icons are round. A few of them more are round, but surprisingly some are not round. I would expect there to be more round icons, but it's a bit interesting. Anyways, all right, so now we can see the accent color is blue, and if we go into settings, the accent color is all blue. It has that pixel vibe to it. And then nav bar is another thing we can tell here. I'm gonna zoom on, zoom in on this. This is cool. So we got the pixel nav bar buttons down here, and if we press the home button, we get the animation. And of course, Google Assistant pops up just like it would on the pixel, and it is picking up my voice right now. Okay, so. Another thing I'll show you real quick is Daydream. Open up right here. I'm going to click the VR button down here to boot into VR. And as you can see, it works. Normally, you would say that the phone's incompatible, but now it is actually working. I've used this before, and I think I'll make a video on this. It works surprisingly good on the Nexus 6. I haven't had too many slowdowns or any issues with it, really. So. Um, yeah, it lets you use Daydream here and you can look around if you have a VR headset, which I do. Um, yeah, it, it is very cool. It's, this is probably one of my favorite features of this mod, actually. So yeah, and then again, you, don't, you didn't notice a huge difference with the launcher that I'm on, but that is already because I already had the launcher installed. So you might not see a big difference on my phone with the home screen, but I promise that you will and it will install the pixel launcher, whichever one you picked. So everything should be working flawlessly here. There we go. So you now have a Nexus 6, which looks remarkably more like a pixel. Yes, that is pretty much it for this video. I believe I covered everything that I wanted to cover. So yeah, it's been a while though. It's been about, um, well, like two months or something since I made my last video. But yeah, I intend on doing more of these. Um, again, let me know if there's something, you, if there's something you want to know about, or some kind of video, any uh, anything you need help with. I'll make sure to do whatever I can. Ask any questions in the comments, and I will get right back with you. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.